I'll start with you right here, ladies first. At any restaurant. New face, brother, how you doing? There could be a lot of firsts. The number of kind of firsts and anniversaries and um, milestones and things like that that we get in this building is really wild. Emily Biederman with the company that owns Steubens in Uptown knows that well. 1,000%. <laughs> <laughs> but on this day, fellas, it's a pretty special day. The occasion is no first. Die now for life right here. We're working very closely with Project Angel Heart. It's a project that we work with year round. That organization works to deliver meals for free to people living with severe illnesses. More than 100 restaurants around Colorado are giving 25% of a customer's bill to Project Angel Heart. It's something Biederman says that they've participated in every year for decades, including back when they owned the now closed longtime Denver restaurant Vesta. All we have to do is be open. Uh, we don't really have to do anything else. The motivations for donating are both professional and personal. One is being in the food industry, being able to connect with other organizations that their focus is providing food for people just like we do. And then if you kind of move forward, our former executive chef, Brandon Foster at Vesta, he actually left that position to go be the executive chef at Project Angel Heart um, for several years and made a wonderful impact there. He unfortunately has passed away since then, um, but we have continued that connection. Terrific delicious sandwich. A first doesn't always have to do with food, but it could be for a greater mission. I mean, food, food is medicine um, at the very, very base of things. So the event goes all day for restaurants and breweries across town and the state today with the goal to raise $300,000 in total. And it's interesting, Tom and Kim, because they actually say that the event itself is still on its sort of comeback from the pandemic. Yeah. And so that's why they have that goal for, for that amount of money there. But uh, Biederman that you heard from there also acknowledged the fact that it just goes to show how long term those uh, impacts can be. Uh, both on the restaurant is industry and their nonprofit partners as well. And so. let, letting people know, finding those great ways that you can help. I think some people wonder right. how to help. Yeah. And being yeah. a part of something like this yeah. is one way people can help. Absolutely. Yeah. I love how they mention food as medicine because it's the one thing that universally sometimes when yeah. you don't know what to do, you want to give food or send food. But this is like daily. Right. Daily. Well, guess what, people? You can still go and uh, order some food right now <laughs> at any of those 180 restaurants. Yeah. So, there you go.